So recently I did a few videos showcasing the one shot light gun controller uh, that's scheduled to come out and the developer messaged me and left a, a link on my YouTube channel and I thought I'd just go ahead and do a video and knock it out for you guys. But the Kickstarter for this nice new product has officially started. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so this is a brand new controller coming out. It is a controller light gun uh, type device that will be coming out. I believe the official launch date for Kickstarters will be around March 2022. It is called the One Shot Convertible First Person Shooter Laser Targeting Controller. It's the first controller of its kind that uses laser aiming to help assist with your firing type. So this unit is primarily made for PC gamers right now in RPGs right now it does support approximately 50 AAA titles. Uh, currently there is $9,100 pledge. It has 51 backers. And there's a lot of information here on the site. So we're gonna kind of just scroll down here and take a look at it. And um, this offers six hours of constant gaming. It has switchable gaming mode. So you can use it as your standard PlayStation or Xbox type controller. And then of course you could turn it around to aim. Now, obviously there's not gonna be anything emitting from the uh, from the gun here. That's all uh, advertisement and whatnot. So uh, that's a pretty cool feature. Um, it is, does have a laser designator. So that'll be interesting to see exactly how this works. Uh, let's take a look here. I wanna see if there's any other additional information. A fully convertible first-person shooter RPG gaming controller with an ergonomic shooter grip and accurate laser aiming guide providing an immersive first-person shooter gaming experience with precise aim and instant switchable control for all kinds of gamers. Um, I'm really intrigued to see exactly how this works and how accurate it is. I understand that there is some type of microchip in here for accuracy. Uh, features all buttons of a regular gamepad, a quick twist of handles to enter FPS mode, accurate laser aiming uh, technique. So um, I do know the developer of this has reached out to me. I will uh, be in contact with him uh, further. Uh, they did express interest in possibly sending me a prototype uh, for review, but uh, we'll see exactly how that goes. Um, again, you have your gadgets here, movement, everything here with the D-pad. The only thing I did notice was that the D-pad and the joystick are in opposite position uh, positions. In fact, let me go ahead and blow this up for you guys so you guys can see it. Yeah, so typically, if you guys are familiar with the Xbox controller, you know, you have your D-pad over here, and then of course you have your joystick over here. But obviously if this works well, I mean, that's fine. I mean, it'll just be a little bit of a, a adjustment. So uh, let's see, you got your heavy trigger here. And then of course we have some additional gameplay footage. But yeah, so far this has a lot of support. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of um, uh, uh, Kickstarter so far uh, that, you know, is really taken off like this. I mean, there seems to be a lot of interest in it. Now keep in mind, even though this is a light gun function type device, this is more or less made or catered to gamers. And I'll explain that in another video. But this does come with the one shot controller, which you get in the box, the tracking camera, USB wireless adapter, type C charging cable, uh, cable which is pretty good. Uh, currently they have about 48 backers. Again, the delivery date is March, 2022. Uh, again, I'm not sure where this is shipping from, so that will be uh, interesting to see. Cause I know a lot of some of the other controller type and light guns we've seen in the past have all come from uh, England or Europe. Uh, so to speak. So uh, you could play games with the one shot, just like a regular PS4 and Xbox controller. I'm not sure at the launch of this, will this be compatible with PS5 or the Xbox Series S? I know even currently, um, I'm not sure if the Titan is doing, but I do know the Chronos Zen. If you guys follow my Chronos Zen, Chronos Max uh, community, um, I do believe that they are still working and tweaking on PS5 and Xbox One uh emulation and com controller compatibility with that so again i have a follow-up video in regards to that so yeah this does work right now with the ps4 and the xbox controller uh type scenario 
Uh, however, now you can switch to shooter mode in less than a second uh, to start firing like a real sniper. Again, it has a lot of good details on here as far as how the games, uh, how the game works with the gun. But yeah, we'll have to see. I mean, I know this will come out in March 2022, but I definitely just wanted to make this quick video for you guys, letting you know that the Kickstarter is officially underway. Uh, they are saying that they will ship anywhere in the world. Uh, be totally involved in your game, but it looks like a really cool device. Again, don't expect RetroPie or anything to work with this right now, guys. I mean, I know we all get hyped to see if we can use it for Linux or some of the other features out there, but I definitely like this marketing uh, uh, package and this marketing strategy that they're using. Again, this is marketed not so much as a light gun, but as a controller that has real lifelike gun functionality to it which makes a huge difference uh, in, you know, when you're buying this. Uh, high camera speed. Uh, the camera is compatible with most devices you could use to play video games, including projectors, PCs, TVs, and laptops. So that's another cool thing. Um, indicator here, you have a USB port. Place the camera in front of your TV. So this kind of reminds me of like that PDP light gun. If you guys have never seen it before, uh, they had something like that where you had a sensor in front of the TV and it responded to the light gun. So something similar to that. Uh, play uh, 50 plus AAA titles. So I am really curious to see. I know they don't have any of these on their YouTube channel, but I'm really curious to see how this would handle with games like Destiny or Call of Duty in a uh, online form, you know, when you have real time, you know, reaction. I know a lot of the videos that they've posted have been uh, campaign based titles like Resident Evil and then a couple of other games. I wanna see some online play just to see how you could really quickly go back and forth between controller and gun. So that would be another interesting uh, tutorial or video to see. Uh, not like any other controller, then, of course, it lets you know all the TVs that it is compatible for and uh, the operating system. Uh, global shutter speed, 200 wide. Now, the cool thing I like so far about this is most of the light guns are, that use a camera, um, they don't operate at 120 frames per second. So that's pretty good. I mean, that's more than 60 frames per second, more than 30, but 120 frame, frames per second for a camera, uh, that's that's pretty good for a uh, light gun type device. So that means you're not uh, gonna be too bothered by the refresh rate or the flickering of whatever type of monitor device that you're using. Uh, one shot projects infrared beams to the screen and the camera tracks the beam signal to designate coordinates in real time. So there's only a limited number of what you would call light gun type technologies out there. You have Bluetooth, you have infrared, and then of course you have what the sending light gun has, which is a camera based system. So again, this one is probably more or less like the gun 4 IR in the, a, uh, the AE light gun because it is using infrared based technology. Uh, then of course you have your controller presets. And again, I didn't cover all of this in the previous video. So right now you get an early bird special limited to 50 is $169, normally 274. Again, high speed camera, USB receiver, 45% uh, off. So again, um, I will leave a link to this in the description of this video below. I couldn't do it before. I know the manufacturers posted the link on my other video, but uh, typically because of YouTube and probably my YouTube settings, I don't allow a lot of links uh, due to spam reasons, but all in all, I just wanted to share this information with all of you. And the cool thing is they also included photographs of all the tech that they're including inside the gun. So you guys can see how they're manufacturing it and what type of chipsets they're using. So again, guys, consider subscribing to the channel. This is Kiel Daikin. I hope you consider um, if you are interested in getting the one shot Kickstarter, let me know. I'm just really curious to see how many people are interested in this uh, new device. It'd be interesting to see some additional gameplay, you know, like real time strategy stuff with Call of Duty, Destiny, and some of the other ones online. But catch you guys later. Like and subscribe. You guys have a good day. Bye bye.